I couldn't have dreamt it up any better. Who's feeling a little bit frisky here in Alabama? Come on. This is one of the most fun tours we've ever been on. It's the biggest party of the year is what I heard. Whiskey makes my baby feel a little frisky. You have been looking forward to this your entire life, this chance, this opportunity to headline your own big show. What has been the reality of it? To play all sold out shows on your own tour is just, it's the, uh, it's what the American dream is about. It's what moving to Nashville is about, is about and it's happening to me and it's been pretty amazing. But where I come from, rain is a good thing. Let me hear you one time. What's the difference between taking the stage at seven o'clock and taking the stage at nine ten? Well, first of all, it's dark, <laughs> so we can actually use our lights. And uh, man, it's just amazing. Being in this headlining spot is, um, it's what I've always, certainly what I've always dreamed of and what I've always wanted. And, and you know, uh, I've gotten gotten fond of it and used to it and I love it. And it's gonna be tough you. to go back. It's, yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> tough to go back in, uh, in 30 years now. Yeah. <laughs> the door's unlocked, I'll leave all my lights. Baby, you can't crash my party. In the role where you got to pick your supporting yeah. cast out on the role. What is it about Florida Georgia Line and Thompson Square that uh, well, they, fit the bill? You know, they have fun. They're great. They put great songs out. They've got a great, fun fan base. And you know, I say my prayers every night that they landed on this tour and I have them as, as opening acts. They don't feel like opening acts. They just feel like part of the family and part of the tour of the and we, we love having them up there. Florida Georgia Line. Could you even imagine how hot they would become during uh, this tour? I mean, when I heard Cruise for the first time, I knew that that was going to be uh, a big song. But, you know, to watch them, you know, come back to back to back with number ones is pretty, uh, pretty dang awesome. That's how we do it around here. That's how we do it around here. Baby. You look at the three acts, the common thread is you all look and are having fun on that stage. Yeah, there's really no denying it. I mean, we live for that, man. The adrenaline and just the energy on stage, man. It makes everything else that we have to do that we don't love worth it. I mean, we uh, we live for that, man. And Thompson Square recently hitting it again at oh, number yeah, one. Yeah, you know, um, Kiefer, you know, Kiefer had a little voice trouble for about three weeks and scared the scared the daylights out of us so to have him back we're so excited to have him back and and they're out here killing it every night so laid back and and it is there's none of that yeah. weirdness i'm the artist i'm the headliner there's none of that stuff you know and and uh you hear those war stories, you know, coming up through the ranks, and uh, we've been fortunate. I've been on three great tours that haven't had any of that stuff, you know. So uh, we're having a blast out here. Baby, I got you. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Watching Luke on stage, what does he do? Where? What is that magic connection he has with the with the fans out there? I think it's the hips. The women like the Definitely hips. Definitely for the women, the hips. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my baby down there tonight? Come on. What's his sexiest body part? His butt. Woo! <laughs> I'd say his smile. I'm stuck on the smile. His butt. His butt. Butt. Wow, that's three butts. That's three butts. What makes your speakers go boom boom? Everything about Luke. Everything about him. You can wake me up in the dead of the night. Break my plans, baby, that's all right. What year Bronco is this? This is a 68 Bronco. I pull this behind my uh, behind my tour bus, and like I will go for like two weeks without driving anything. So it's just yeah. nice to have that freedom. Have that freedom. Get out on the road and drive a little bit. Can we go take a spin in this? Thing? Let's do it. Let's see if it'll crank. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> it purrs like a kitten. We're going around the beer garden. Can we stop at the beer garden? Yeah, that's what I was hoping. <laughs> Those kid fans will not forget that one moment that you oh, I know. the Bronco by them. They're, they're the fact, I mean, it's out. like, it's what, 95 out here, humid, 100%. They're out here, they're out here all day. Now we just got to pray the brakes work going down this hill. 1968, you said? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on, let's see what it's got. Ready? Yep. It's still got a little oh, kick up. I love how all the lyrics of your songs are. That's how you know which truck is which. That's what the bus driver's idea. They did that. Asphalt Calvi, shake it for me. Speakers go boom, boom, and we rode in truck. Oh, this is my trailer. 
There's my trailer. It's like a glove. There we go. We need us a country girl and a country man out there tonight to have some fun one time here in Alabama. Everybody out here is uh, busting their tail making this tour happen. It's pretty amazing, you know, watching everybody come together and, and put on, you know, put on a, a great show every night.